right, we got another Friday night game. This one Friday, 10 p.m. Central Time on the CBS Sports Network, and Stanford heads to Hawaii. And we'll, well, and I've already got the uh, the wrong thing up here. All right, so Stanford, I didn't like the number very much when Stanford was favored by 10. <laughs> However, Hawaii goes out to Vanderbilt. They've got an 80% postgame win expectancy, but they lost the game. Now, everybody thinks Hawaii played so well, etc. They did. They did good things. The offense was moving the ball. I know Stanford and Vandy, similar teams right here, but eh, not great. That uh, that graphic is wrong. Overall, 247 talent. Um, but either way, their overall, their average overall rank is number 82. These are my early season rankings on this. Uh, but regardless, I, I like Stanford by like nine on this. Uh, success margin was the exact same last year. PPA margin very close. Hawaii number 130, number 124 for Stanford. I do like what Timmy Chang and them are doing. However, they had to go from Nashville late, late, late Saturday night all the way back to Hawaii, and now they're playing a day early on Friday night instead of on Saturday. Stanford been gearing up, and there's a bunch of data that will show you that having film on somebody is better than having actually played reps. So I, this line is down to three and a half. Yeah, I'm going to ride Stanford on this. So I'm going to buy back a little bit on it uh, because I did like Hawaii a little bit early, but this thing has gotten out of control. I think this thing hit three a couple of times, but now, you know, I, I'm not I'm not sold on this, but I will take, uh, I will take Stanford uh, to cover the three and a half against Hawaii. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and follow me on Twitter, at GaryWCE. If you want to toss in a question, you can email me, Gary, at winningcureseverything.com. Make sure and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.